This PowerPoint is about the final project and the various steps that you will be taking to uh, accomplish that in the last weeks of the class. Um, this project is instead of a final exam and uh, you will start by creating a project pitch in week five that you will post and get feedback on and then start doing the research for the project itself. I will talk about the particulars of what's expected for the project in a minute. I just want to go over the basics first. Um, so in week five you pitch your project. In week 12 after you get feedback from the project pitch you post the annotated bibliography demonstrating the research that you've been doing on the topic of your choice for this class and for this project. That annotated bibliography will be created as you're creating the presentation of that project. You will present your research in the form of PowerPoint or mini documentary or other non-research paper presentation. A research paper is not what I'm looking for here and that will not be an acceptable uh, form of disseminating the information that you've discovered during your research. The idea of this final project presentation and discussion is for you all to learn from each other's research. You're going to present the research that you've done on your topic and educate your colleagues about what you've learned. Uh, in week 12 you'll post that annotated bibliography. In week 13 you will post your actual project and then from week 13 through the end of the semester you will be reviewing your colleagues projects, making intelligent discussions with them about their project, and going back to your project discussion threads and responding to the people who comment on your research project, demonstrating to me that you have become an expert in the subject that you chose to research. At the end of the last weeks of class, I will make the project unavailable so I can do the grading of the project itself and the discussion threads that you've engaged with. So for the course, the final project and the parts that lead up to it are worth 80% of the grade. 20% will be the presentation itself, and then there'll be 20% more of your final grade, which will be your moderating of your project, and another 20% will be your discussion of at least 10 other projects. And then the project pitch, which is due in week five, will be worth 5%, and the annotated bibliography will be worth 15%. Um, and the last part of your course grade will be the combined dis discussions and quizzes grades that you will have finished throughout the semester. So you can see from just the overall grading for the course that without a timely posting of the final project, you cannot pass the course. So let's talk about the project itself. Um, the topic that you can choose will be any of the topics that we're looking at in a general way in this course. Sex versus gender, trans studies, masculinity studies, rape culture, any topic that encompasses the abortion issue, or another topic of interest to you that's not listed here that we've covered in the class. The project pitch will give you an approval from me that that's an okay topic and your colleagues commenting on the pitch will give you some other ideas about how you can approach your research and presentation. And what would the presentation be? Uh, the format of your project can take the form of a short original video, like a little video documentary, uh, an original photo essay, which is not a written research essay, but instead a series of photographs with captions that 
tell a narrative and describe some aspect of a topic of your choosing. A podcast um, is another option. And with the podcast, I would ask that you have a few images that so that people don't just watch a, a straight line go across the screen, but instead they can hook on to some visuals as well as hearing what you have to say. A blog or vlog is another possibility for presentation, a zine, an e-zine, um, or a short web documentary. And of course you can do a PowerPoint, but the PowerPoint should be one with a voiceover like I'm doing right now. And those are the various ways that you can present the research that you will be doing. So you post the project pitch in week five, and that project pitch will include the topic that you're looking at, the rationale as to why you want to focus on the particular topic and how it relates to the course materials, um, the format in which it will take, uh, the research questions that you will be looking at. And those research questions, of course, can change as you do your research, but you need to start with something. And so the project pitch is the first thing you do before you start your research. Once you've posted that pitch, you will go back and comment on two of your colleagues' pitches uh, with suggestions for additional research that they may not have thought about with alternate uh, topic wording, like maybe the sex versus gender is a little too general and they want to look at something specific and reminders of something if they've forgotten to post uh, a topic or a subject or a working title, uh, you might want to remind them of that. Please, when you post your discussion for the project, don't name it Project Pitch. Give it a working title that gives your readers an idea of what your subject and your course topic focus is for your project. Don't name it Week 5. Don't name it Project Pitch name it sex and gender with a colon perhaps so sex and gender would be the course topic and your subject may be something like trans exclusionary radical feminists or you can look at trans studies and the question of uh, trans people in sports so name it something very specific and then get very very specific in your post uh, this is 5% of your final grade, and once you get the feedback by the end of week six, you'll have approximately six weeks to do your research, create your project, and then in week 12, post your annotated bibliography, get some feedback on that, put the final touches to your project post in the next week, post it, and then from weeks 13 to 15, uh, you will be reviewing 10 other projects. So you can review more if you like, but 10 is the minimum that you'll be required to review because this class has many more than 10 people in it. And your review should go approximately four reviews the first week, three the second week, and three the third week for 10 overall. When you respond to a, a project that you've reviewed, you will answer one or two of the discussion questions that the person has posted at the end. You may ask questions. Um, if you disagree with something, you can point it out and suggest maybe that your own research showed something different. Ask questions about their sources, why these sources were chosen and not others. And again, if, you're, if you've done the same topic as somebody else's project that you're reviewing, you can certainly compare, contrast, or add to the person's presentation with your own findings. So that kind of discussion will get you a lot of points. Um, your own moderating of the discussions where people are saying to you, look, this is what I found in my research and it seems to differ from what you're saying here, then you respond to that so you can show me that you understand what your topic is about, that you're familiar with the sources that you've posted, and that you can intelligently defend your claims when other people are questioning them. So this is the overall point and intention 
of the final project. I do want you to learn from each other and also understand that there are a lot of um, ways that you can approach many, many topics in this course. So uh, for week five, in the discussion, you will post your proposed topic title, and that should be the subject line of your post, your rationale, the format, your starting research questions, and then you'll comment on two of your colleagues' pitches with suggestions for the, their research, for alternative topic wording, perhaps, reminders that they've forgotten something in the pitch. And if you just post good post or great topic, you'll get zero credit for that part. You'll get the feedback and you'll start your research. Your annotated bibliography will be due in week 12. If you do not know how to do an annotated bibliography, I strongly suggest that you either Google it or you go to the Writing Center for help getting that done. The annotated bibliography will be the basis for your references at the end of the presentation, your last slide, or someplace, if you're not doing a PowerPoint, you need to, in your presentation itself, provide the, uh, the, the actual research references page. In addition, you must also provide your discussion questions um, in the presentation, as well as in the introductory window to which you attach your final project. So the questions and the references must show up in two different places when you're posting the final project. The annotated bibliography in week 12 will demonstrate that you have been doing research all along and you're not just throwing together a project the day before it's due. The annotated bibliography should include at least two course materials. They don't have to be readings. They can be videos or anything else that um, have been re referenced in the course, but two course materials for authored sources. So one or two of the course materials can also be the four authored sources. But if you're posting sources from current events that do not have an author, you need to certainly include those in your references. But um, when I'm looking at the references list, I need to see four authored sources. I need to see one reference to current events, and that will be something that will be over and above the materials that the course has presented. And in these course materials, when you post, do not simply copy a URL and throw it in as a reference. That will not be acceptable at this level. You need to create the annotated bibliography, and from that, create your references list, or if you choose to use MLA format, your works cited list. Then in week 13, after you get some feedback on the um, annotated bibliography, you will post in week 13 your final project. In the introductory materials, you will give the rationale and the, the steps that you took and what you found. You will add in the discussion posting window, in addition to the title of the presentation, which again will be the subject of your post. You will give the subject and the format of the medium that we will be looking at when we look at the final project. You will provide a one or two sentence rationale as to why you chose to do this particular project in this particular way, and you will add the two discussion questions as well as the list of references. Before we even look at the project itself, we will have a really good idea of what we're getting into. And there are many reasons for this. This is a professional way of presenting research. It's also a good way to get people to follow your claims and your argument. You tell people what they're going to see, you present that, and then you you review it. And, and, and in, within that, people can have a discussion with you about what you have researched, what your claims are, and what your conclusions are. So then in weeks 13 through 15, after you've posted that project in that specific way, you will review 10 other projects. You will 
post meaningful feedback, and that is responses to the questions, ask questions of your own, and demonstrate to me that you've spent about 10 minutes per project thinking, reviewing, and making comments. And then you'll go back to your own project thread and respond to your colleagues' comments so that at the end of the three weeks of reviewing, by the end of week 15, when um, I'm grading, I will see the project to grade, I will see the discussions, and within those discussions, you will have your initial post, which will be the presentation itself, 10 comments on other people's posts, plus 10 more comments responding to the thread of people discussing your post. So I will see 21 comments for every single person who wants to get 100% of that particular grade for their final. After the last day of comment, I will make the projects unavailable so I can grade them and not continue to get people's commenting, which can be a little crazy making. I will be grading and posting the final grades in the last days of the semester. Um, if you have any questions, please contact me. You can send me an email or come to my office hour and we can discuss this further. Otherwise, at the end of week five, please post your pitch and we will get started from there.